Some people, some stories are always happening around us. I Life is full of challenges and hardships to them, and their dreams are humble. They say, Hi, 他很想喝水厕所那这四项补助每一个价钱不一样但是我真的看到他们非常认真的珍惜每一天，他们能够呼吸，能够活着的日子。我也很期望他们结婚生小孩啊。我爱你，爱你要怎么说啊？我爱你，爱你。Love empowers us. Love leads us through adversity. Because of you, I am not alone. Because of love, we can keep going. <音>放在枕头边我哭的时候就拿起来一张茶这样擦那妹妹是比较外放就会一直爸爸妈妈什么时候回来对小孩子来讲把这些影响尽量缩减到最小影响跟生活的开支缩减到最小那去去度过这段
啊，小朋友做的满脸都是面粉，做好就说这个要留给妈妈吃。我觉得这样子的意义大于实质金额上的意义。单亲家庭其实说实在的，就是吃喝拉撒睡，小朋友的这些照顾，再来就是经济的照顾。我觉得他们都有兼顾到，就是走下去，不单只是我走下去，小孩子走下去。We use every possible means to support less privileged families. For children from difficult families, we provide them support through foster homes or other placement institutions. 把门打开，把爱放出来，请家和爸啊，请和小啊，其他再说嘛。照顾的家庭就是小燕之家。因为是学龄前的小孩，我要扮演的角色就是说，除了就是生活保育老师之外，我觉得我也是身兼妈妈的角色，以一个女性的角色来揣摩当妈妈的心情，希望说我可以弥补他们的就是原生家庭的不足。那我是属于那种父代母职，那去补足他们心里面缺少的那一块，也很希望他们将来出去之后有自己的能力，改善他家里面的环境。Not only do we manage to compensate the deficiency of their biological family and give financial and emotional support to the children, but also with a low birth rate, we are committed to creating a friendly environment to raise children so people would feel more comfortable to step into parenthood and become more confident as parents. Also, we ensure every child can grow in a loving and safe environment and support his or her needs to grow. On November 20th, 2014, we enacted the act to implement the Convention on the Rights of the Child. This enables the protection of the rights of children and youth. Also, in response to the UN's International Day of the Girl Child, we declare October 11th as Taiwan Girls' Day to promote equal opportunities for girls to speak out their opinions and to promote their development. This young girl is probably wanting to dress up and look beautiful, but we chose this path because we are doing what we like to do. Not only do girls need to stand up, but also women need to step outside. We work with communities and civil groups to create platforms to empower women to step out of the domestic environment and roles and dare to dream. Furthermore, we want to support them to become another driving force of our social development. As a kid, Dr. Lin Ni Hao was inspired by watching Neil Armstrong walking on the moon on TV and gradually became interested in space science. Later, she studied in the U.S. and became one of the country's few female space scientists. After returning, she led a team to build a world-class space lab. Their study has received international acclaim. Get out of the house, step out of the ivory tower. Women should explore their dreams, appreciate their talents, and expand their horizons. Two shy housewives had never imagined public speaking. After the self-development programs of the Women's Pavilion of Dreams, both have new roles as teachers and give public lectures regularly. After the age of 18, a car accident paralyzed Ya Ting's right side. It shattered her dream of becoming a hairstylist. Step out, and you will see new lights. Step out, and you will find new meaning in life. Whether you're a man or a woman, working or retired, step out. Going to graduate school and studying with young people. Initiating a senior caring group. This is Tian Fa Lin. After retiring at the age of 60, he was diagnosed with dementia. Just when he fell into despair, he was invited to lecture to elders in the community. 
Surprisingly, his mental regression was improved with his active participation in community services. He then gathered eight volunteers with an average age of 73 to provide care services to 12 seniors who were younger than them. Now this group has expanded into 120 volunteers and they are serving more than 200 single seniors. They also set up volunteer centers in communities. This opens up new possibilities for seniors. <laughs> This is our foreseeable future. We are entering an aging society. How do we create a community with joy and health? How do we continue learning and age with the vitality and dignity we've always deserved? Let's try something different. We work together with national social welfare groups to establish many community-based care centers to support senior citizens to have a healthy and joyful environment. We also provide subsidies to NGOs to establish active aging learning centers. The offerings are diversified, including educational, physical programs, and other more static activities. With this approach, we support our seniors' lifelong learning. Grandpa Wong is one of the examples. He does Tai Chi well, but also dances energetically with teenagers. He's as flexible as a young man. The body grows old, but the heart can stay forever young. We create all kinds of activities to encourage seniors to show their talents a different layer of beauty and liveliness. Every Double Ninth Festival, we invite senior groups nationwide to show off their energy and talents on stage. We want to give them the opportunity to express their vitality. We encourage seniors to participate in social activities, integrate resources from civil and private community groups, and advocate enterprise involvement. Our focus is to achieve healthy aging, in-place aging, intelligent aging, active aging, and fun learning aging. We hope every senior citizen is well taken care of in life, economy, and spirituality, so that they can relax and enjoy retirement. Life can be rough sometimes. Your family may be dysfunctional. You may be facing difficulties. We would like to lift some weight off your shoulders and support you to fulfill your basic needs and perhaps achieve your dreams in every possible way. The Social and Family Affairs Administration of the Ministry of Health and Welfare was established on July 23, 2013. With whole person-centered principle, our work includes children and youth, women, seniors, people with disabilities, and family support. We aim to create a friendly environment for raising children and protection of rights and well-being of children and youth, to build mechanisms that empower women and increase gender equality and opportunities, to enhance the capacities of elderly care and support healthy and dignified living, to implement the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and foster independence. We can thus enhance the family support system and capacities of family care. Our responsibility is to ensure every individual's quality of life. Our operation is to provide support to the family system. Our vision is to create a well-being society. The Social and Family Affairs Administration is always with you. Let's unite the family together. <laughs>